Hello, today we are going to talk about solving two-step equations. That is chapter 2, lesson 2 in your textbook, and you'll find that on pages 121 to 128. Let's get started. So the other day in class when we were talking about solving one-step equations, we would often ask, kind of as a model of how you want to follow this out algebraically, uh, we would ask, what is happening to the x? Well, if you did order of operations and you knew what x was, so let's say we knew x was 2. All right, you would multiply that number by 3 and then add 2, and our result would be 14. All right, not with my example of 2, but in general. So, what we're going to do is we need a times 3 machine, okay, to take care of this, and then this is kind of new uh, this week. We need a, a, a plus 2 machine to finish out what's happening to the x, and that result is 14. All right. So how we want to think about undoing all of this, solving an equation, is to do these steps backwards, so in the opposite order, with the opposite sign. So we're going to start with our 14, and now to undo positive 2, a positive 2 machine, adding 2, we're going to subtract 2. All right. And if you think about that, that's that's uh, 14 minus 2 is 12. Uh, and then we're going to multiply, or we're going to uh, we have to undo multiplying by 3, so we're going to divide. We're going to have a divide 3 machine, and that's going to give us our new answer. So if we think 14 minus 2 is 12, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay. So again, this is how we want to think about solving the problem. What order would we do things if we knew what x was? And then we're going to undo all of that in the opposite order. Okay. So let's take a look at a problem algebraically. So here's the same exact problem. Now, the first thing we had to do in the last slide was subtract 2. So we're going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. We want to balance this equation out. So we're going to subtract 2 from both sides. And 2 minus 2 is 0. So all that's left on my left side of the equation is 3x. And what I think we should start doing, some of you are just kind of writing things randomly all over your paper. I'm going to tell you, you should bring that 3x down because we haven't done anything to it yet. So I'm going to bring that 3x down, and I'm going to bring down 14 minus 2, which is 12. So everything is staying together. On the same side of the equation, we're just bringing everything down. Now, we're going to, we want to ask, what's happening to the x now? Right now, it's being multiplied by 3. So we want to do the opposite of that. We want to divide both sides by 3. And 3 divided by 3 is 1. So these cancel out. All right. And 12 divided by 3 is 4. So I'm going to bring down my x, bring down my equal sign, and bring down my 4. And that's going to bring me x equals 4. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a look at a second problem that's just slightly different. And it throws some kids off. There's really no difference in how you solve the problem, but we have certain things in a different order. All right. So now our x... Uh, term, our 5x, our coefficient of 5 times x, is in the second spot, which is okay. We're still going to move this 1. All right, we're going to move this 1 over, all right, and then we're going to divide by 5. Okay, so still ask yourself, what's happened to the x? It's being multiplied by 5, then we would add 1, so we're going to subtract 1 and divide by 5. That looks like this. Uh, 1 minus 1 is 0, so these would cancel. I'm going to do that to both sides of the equation. Uh, this cancels. I'm going to bring down my 5x, and 26 minus 1 is 25. All right. Now I need to undo multiplying by 5, so I'm going to divide both sides by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1, so they cancel. And I bring down my x, and 25 divided by 5 is 5. Boom. All right. Now, I want you to try these two. Pause this video and attempt these two problems. Uh, when you finished, push play and see if you got them right. Okay, so this first one, we would subtract 2 and divide by 3. That would give us 18 divided by 3 is 6. And in this problem, with that uh, variable term in the second spot, we're going to subtract 5, which is going to give me uh, negative 1 minus 5 is negative 6. We divide by 2, we get negative 3. Sorry about that. All right. Let's take a look at the next set of problems here. So we want to solve this problem. So now we have our fractional, our rational coefficient. 
okay? And it happens to be on the right side of the equation, but that's not a big deal. Uh, Z is being multiplied by one-third, uh, and then we add 2 to it, so we're going to undo all of that. We're going to subtract 2 from both sides. And remember here, these signs are the same. So uh, I know last year we talked about, and a little bit this year, uh, negative ninjas and positive pirates. So I have four negative ninjas. I have two more ninjas. So this is a party, not a war. We're going to add these numbers together, and they are ninjas. So this is negative 6 and then one-third Z. So I'm going to bring down my negative 6, my equal, and my one-third Z. All right. And now, notice I already rewrote it with uh, our numerator times the Z. So remember yesterday we moved that up here so that we can handle this in two steps. So now Z is being multiplied by 1 and divided by 3. I'm going to multiply both sides by 3 first. Notice I'm putting that 3 in the numerator so that it's 3 divided by 3, which cancels out. Okay. And I'm left with bringing down the 1z, and 3 times negative 6 is negative 18. And because this was 1z already, we don't have anything else to do. We are done with this problem. All right. So give these a shot. So what I want you to do, pause the video. When you solve the problems, uh, push play and see if you got them right. All right, so the first one, C, uh, is negative 20. I would have subtracted 9 from both sides. Negative 1 minus 9 is negative 10. And then when I had A over 2 equals 10, I multiply both sides by 2, and I'm going to get negative 20. If you had the sign wrong, check to make sure you carried all of the signs down when you solved the problem. And this next one, I would have added 5, and then I would have multiplied by 5, and then divided by 2. And we get 30, all right? Let's take a look. So, example three. Uh, we have this problem here again. This is different because of this negative sign. Okay? We haven't really done much of this yet. You just want to make sure you don't lose this negative sign. When you bring down your 3x in the next step here, you got to make sure you bring down that negative because this negative has nothing to do with this 8. This is positive 8. So, when I move 8 over to the other side, I'm going to do it by subtracting 8. And 8 minus 8 is 0, so that cancels out. And again, bring down the negative. So we're going to bring that down, and we get negative 3x, and 14 minus 8 is 6. Now we're going to divide both sides by negative 3. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 is 1, so these cancel out. And remember, two negatives make a positive, so it's just x over here. And 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. So I brought down my x. I brought down the equal sign, and 6 divided by negative 3 was negative 2. All right, last set of got it. So we have these. Try these three. Pause the video. Solve them. And when you get back, check your work. All right, so uh, for C, I would have subtracted 10 first and got 42. Then I would have multiplied both sides by 3 and then divided by negative 2. Just remember, only use that negative one time. You can use it in the first step, or actually in this problem, it be the second step. You can multiply both sides by negative 3 uh, and then divide by 2, or you can multiply by 3 and divide by negative 2. Only use the negative once. With F, um, here's my negative 3x. I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. That's a party. Negative 19 minus 2. I have 19 ninjas, two more ninjas. That's 21 ninjas, and that's going to equal negative 3x. I divide both sides by negative 3, and I get positive 7. And then here, again, we just got to keep track of this negative. Add 2 to both sides. That's a war. Negative 18 plus 2 is negative 16. Multiply both sides by negative 3, and I get positive 48. Negative 16 times negative 3 is positive 48. All right, your homework for this section is page 124, 1 through 3, 125, 1 through 6, and just these nine problems. All right, uh, if you have any questions, obviously, you can rewatch this video or come and see Ms. Waz and I, and we'll, we'll help you out. Um, remember, these are very important that we have a good foundation for these first two sections because we're essentially going to be doing all of this stuff all year. So good luck, and we'll see you guys next time.